Hello. Good afternoon. Hola, buenas tardes. Um, next Sunday, not not today, but next Sunday, we'll take the offering for Internet Missions. Nuestro domingo, pero el próximo domingo, tomaremos la ofrenda para las misiones de Internet. Um, we have added two more languages, which gives us 45 languages now. Hemos agregado dos idiomas más, ahora tenemos 45. And I want uh, Wesley to pass out the the two uh, manuscripts. Take them home and look at them. We always um, give the real conversion. This this is this way. So pass out the one in for, in the language of Sri Lanka. Reparte el mensaje. En el idioma de Sri Lanka. You ever read one of these? Take it home, look at it, pray for the Sri Lanka. They have it now in their own language, uh, which is Sinalha. Fold it up, put it in your Bible. Here's the second one. Pass this one out, Wesley, and and over there at Dr. Kagan's house, I guess you give it out, don't you? This one is um, a language of India, Malayalam. How do you say it? Malayalam. Malayalam. Remember, there are many languages in India. This is one of the major ones. So it's the 45th language. Esta es una de las grandes, es el idioma 45. Take it, fold it up, put it in your Bible, take it home and pray for these two to be helpful to people in those countries. Llévalo para la casa y ora por ellos para que ayude a la gente en esos países. It's a big, big deal to have the languages up in 45 languages now. All, we'll have 50 by the, by the ne in the next year. Es gran cosa tener estos idiomas uh, y tendremos en cuenta en el próximo año. But you have to give a good offering. Tiene que dar una buena ofrenda. To keep it going. I give most of my salary on that on the weekends when we take up the offering for mission. Yo doy casi todo mi salario uh, en el fin de semana que tomamos la misión. Not telling you to do that, but give a good offering more than usual. No te estoy diciendo que lo hagas, pero de una ofrenda mejor que usual. Forty fourth languages, sin sin hala. A, a language, the language of Sri Lanka, and the 45th language is Malayala Lam, a language of India, which has many languages. Es Sinhala y Malayala es los idiomas de Sri Lanka y India. Now, Wesley and and Dr. Kagan give out the website, the countries for July one through. 30 through the 30th, 2020. 73,848 computers from 196 countries and other designations given on a daily basis comp computed by Dr. Kagan. Y uh, 73 uh, mil sermones uh, en 197 países Ha dado, uh, y y los números han visto por Dr. Plus thousands more that are not computed here that read the sermons on YouTube and on our app. Y miles de personas más que no lo, uh, que lo mira sobre YouTube o la app. Well, this is a huge, a huge, a hugely important and hugely great uh, activity that we're engaged in and which the other people that, that left the church could not support because they were culturally impoverished. Which I will mention in the sermon. Now here's some, some emails. Dear Dr. Heimers, to God be the glory. I am from Myanmar. So the Myanmar. How blessed I am. Que bendecido soy. I was reading your sermon on fasting. 
Estaba leyendo su sermón sobre ayuno. Thank you very much, sir. Muchas gracias, caballero. Unfortunately, I feel my left foot is hurt now. Desfortunadamente, pienso de que mi uh, pie izquierdo está dañado. I believe I can, I can heal this disease by the Holy Spirit. That's a big mistake, son. You cannot heal it by the Holy Spirit. Only the Holy, only God can heal it, and that through prayer, not not what you do, not even your prayer. It's God that heals it. Pray for it every day. Now, for instance, my left knee. I've been asking for prayer for my left knee for 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 weeks, perhaps months, and now I feel no pain in my left knee. I shall be able to. I'll be able to stand to preach pretty soon. Y uh, no, uh, dices a uh, tú de que uh, ahora el, el pie es izquierda, pero la cosa es que no es uh, de que el Espíritu Santo lo sane, pero eso no es así. Uh, no es uh, de, uh, tu uh, oración que lo hace. Uh, no, um, um, pero fíjate, he estado orando por mi rodilla y uh, Dios lo está, ha estado ayudando. He says, I believe I can heal this disease by Holy Spirit, comma, Jesus' name. Él no. dice que creo que puedo sanar esta enfermedad por el nombre de Jesús uh, uh, en el Espíritu Santo. It sounds like you're affected by Pentecostalism. Parece que eres afectado por Pentecostalismo. As, as many people in the third world are. Tal como mucha gente en el tercer mundo están. You must pray in Jesus' name and forget about the Holy Spirit. He does his work without being called upon. Tienes que orar en el nombre de Jesús y olvidar del Espíritu Santo. Él hace la obra sin que se uh, llame a Él. How many times should I pray for it? ¿Cuántas veces debo de orar por esto? Please suggest to me. Por favor, uh, dime. God bless you. Shing from Myanmar writing in English. Yeah, Dios te bendiga, dice Shing escribiendo en inglés de Myanmar. And I wrote back to him, dear Shing, le, le, I don't know how bad your foot is. Le dije, estimado Shing, no sé qué uh, mal está tu pie. But I believe you should pray for it every day. Pero creo que debe de orar por esto cada día. Perhaps when you first get out of bed in the morning and before you go to bed every night. Quizá cuando te levantas cada día de, y cuando te cuestas cada noche. I will also pray for your foot. También oraré por tu pies. God bless you, my friend, Robert Heimers, Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus. A copy to Christopher Kagan, Ph.D. Pastor. Y a Dios te bendiga, mi amigo, Dr. R. L. Heimers Jr., Filipenses 4.13, a Pastor Emeritus, copia a Christopher Kagan, Pastor. Here is one from Japan. Aquí hay uno de Japón. Writing in English. Escribiendo en inglés. Dear Dr. Heimers, I'm going to write to you this email for the first time. Estimado Dr. Heimers, te voy a escribir esta correspondencia de electrónica por la primera my, vez. My name is Masaki, a believer in the church in Japan, in a church in Japan. Mi nombre es Masaki, soy un creyente en una iglesia en Japón. I would, I would like to quote your sermon, The Conversion of Adoniram Judson. Me gustaría citar su sermón en la conversión de Adoniram Judson. The great missionary. El gran misionero. To Burma. A Burma. We are studying the history of Christianity in the senior class of the church. Estamos estudiando la historia de la cristiandad en la uh, escuela de, uh, mayor de la iglesia. This sermon on Judson is very good and useful to us. Este sermón sobre uh, es muy bueno y útil para nosotros. Sincerely, sincerely yours, Masake, Masaki, writing in English from Japan. Sinceramente, de suyo de Masaki escribiendo en inglés desde Japón. And I answer him, dear Masaki, thank you for your email. Le digo, estimado Masaki, gracias por el email. I love and appreciate Adoniram Judson very much. Yo admiro y agradezco a Adoniram Judson mucho. And so should you and your people. También tú y tu gente debe de serlo. Dr. Judson was, a one, was wonderful in every way. Dr. Judson fue muy, muy bueno en muchas maneras. With love and respect, Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus, copy to Chris Kagan, Ph.D. Pastor. Con amor respeto, Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus, copia a Chris Kagan, Pastor. That's the first one. Es la primera. Here's the second one. Esta la segunda. From Masaki. From Masaki. Dear Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., thank you for your response. Estimado Dr. R. L. Heimer Jr., gracias por la respuesta. We are going to study Adoniram Judson 
through your sermon. Vamos a estudiar a Renee Johnson a través de tu sermón. Thank you very much again. Muchas gracias de nuevo. With love and respect, Masaki. Con amor, respeto, Masaki. And I wrote back, dear Masaki, thank you very much for using my material on Dr. Judson. Le dije de gracias, Masaki, por usar mi materia sobre uh, Dr. Hudson. With love and respect, Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus, copy to Chris Kagan, Ph.D. Pastor. Con amor, respeto, Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus, copy to Chris Kagan, Pastor. This one is from Marino in Peru, writing in Spanish. They have it translated for me. Esta de Marino, escribiendo de Perú, y fue traducido para mí en español. Dear Dr. Heimers, from the, from the Republic of Peru, many blessings, a servant of the Lord, Marino, writing in Spanish. Uh, estimado Dr. Heimers, a uh, uh, bendición a usted, uh, escribiendo Marino de, uh, en español. And I write back to him, Dear Marino, thank you for the compliment and the blessing. Le dije, estimado Marino, gracias por el complemento y la bendición. Please read some of my sermons in Spanish at www.sermonsfortheworld.com and then write to me again. Y escribe de, uh, leer los sermones uh, en el www.sermonsfortheworld.com y escríbeme de nuevo en español. With love and respect, Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus. Con amor respeto, Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., uh, Pastor uh, Filipenses 4.13, Pastor Emeritus. Copy to Christopher Kagan, Ph.D., Pastor. Copy of the Christopher Kagan, uh, Ph.D. Pastor. This one is from Guatemala, writing in Spanish. Esta es de Guatemala, escribiendo en español. Good day, Dr. Heimers. Buenos días, Dr. Heimers. It gives me great pleasure to greet you. Da gran placer saludarlo. My name is Marvin. Mi nombre es Marvin. I'm 43 years old, and I have felt the call of God for all, for my life. Siento, In other words, to be a preacher. Tengo 43 años de edad y sentido la llamada de Dios para uh, mi vida entera para ser predicador. I want to see how, with your experience as a as a pastor, can counsel me on what steps to follow. Quiero ver cómo usted como un pastor me puede dar consejo en qué pasos tomar. God bless you, Marvin. Writing from Guatemala in Spanish, and I answer him, Dear Marvin. Y uh, escribiendo Marvin en español de Guatemala, yo le doy respuesta, estimado Marvin. This is very important, Marvin. Esto es muy importante, Marvin. Join a Baptist church. Júntate en una iglesia bautista. Not one that has the Pentecostal gifts. No una que tiene dones pentecosteses. Join a Baptist church and do all the work and tasks that the pastor gives you. Júntate con una iglesia bautista y haz todas las tareas y obras que el pastor te da. Then, after three months, write to me again and tell me how you are doing in these projects. Y después de tres meses, escríbeme y dime cómo estás en esos proyectos. That is the first step. Es el primer paso. I will write you again after you have done the first assignment with love and respect, Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus. Te escribiré de nuevo después que hayas hecho la primera tarea con amor respeto, Dr. R. L. Heimers, Jr., uh, Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus. Copy to Chris Kagan, Ph.D., Pastor Copia a Chris Kagan, PhD, Pastor. This one is from India, writing in English. Esta es de India, escribiendo en inglés. Dear Dr. Heimers, your teaching is very effective. Estimado Dr. Heimers, su enseñanza es muy, uh, es muy efectivo. I get blessed through it. Yo soy bendecido por esto. Surely I will teach in my church. So, surely I will teach it in my church so that people will get the blessing. Thanks. Ciertamente lo enseñaré en mi iglesia para que la gente tenga la bendición. Gracias. Rua, writing in English from India. Rua, escribiendo en inglés de India. Yeah, Rua. Estimado Bua, Rua. Bua, it is, rather. Bua. Uh, en, en vez es Bua. Thank you so very much for your kind words. Gracias por sus palabras amables. The best way to learn to preach, the way I do, is to literally take my sermons and preach them word for word. La mejor manera para aprender a predicar como yo hago es tomar mis sermones y predicarlos palabra por palabra. By doing this, you will learn to condense thoughts and present them simply. Al hacer esto, aprenderás a hacer los pensamientos breves y presentarlos simplemente. Which is the way to reach people. Esa es la manera para alcanzar a la gente. May the Lord bless you as you do it. 
Yours in Jesus' name, Dr. Heimers, Philippians 4.13, Pastor Emeritus. Copy to Chris Kagan, Ph.D. Pastor. Que de, con el mejor respeto, Dr. R. L. Heimers Jr., Filipenses 4.13, Pastor Emeritus. Copia a Chris Kagan, Ph.D. Pastor. Now stand and sing our hymn for this morning, Am I a Soldier of the Cross? I want you to memorize this hymn. That's why we sing it every week. Y yo quiero que memorices este himno. Pónganse de pies. Vamos a cantar, Soy Soldado de la Cruz. Am I a soldier of the cross, a follower of the Lamb? And shall I fear to own his cause, or blush to speak his name? Must I be carried to the skies on flowery beds of ease, while others fought to win the prize and sailed through bloody seas? As our as Adoniram Judson and his wife did. Tal como hicieron Adoniram Judson y la esposa. Are there no foes for me to face? Must I not stem the flood? Is this vile world a friend to grace? To help me on to God. Now sing it good and loud on the last stanza. That's the one I want you to learn. Sure, I must fight if I would reign. Increase my courage, Lord. I'll bear the toil, endure the pain, supported by thy word. Amen. You may be seated. Now I'm going to bring a message today titled Lessons from Dr. Roy Branson. Voy a traer una lección hoy, lecciones del Dr. Roy Branson. Dr. Branson has been in the ministry more than 50 years. Dr. Branson ha estado en el ministerio más de 50 años. And is well qualified to write a book like he did, Dear Preacher, Please Quit. Es bien calificado para escribir un libro tal como escribió Estimado Predicador, por favor, ríndete. And his book, especially his book, Church Split. En particular su libro, Quebrantamiento de Iglesia. So I'm going to give some lessons from Dr. Roy Branson this afternoon. Voy a dar lecciones del Dr. Roy Branson esta tarde. Turn to Romans 10, 15. Voltea a Romanos 10, 15. Chapter 10, verse 15, page 1204. 1204. How shall they preach except they be sent? Maybe seated. This does not mean they are sent by a church. It's interpreted by Walter Pinkagan and Chan. It means that they are sent by God. No, como dice Walter Pinkagan. Pero si no, es lo que quiere decir es que son enviados por Dios. Dr. Branson said, and I'm going to give a few quotes from him, if you are a preacher, you probably should not be. Voy a citar al Dr. Branson, si eres un predicador, probablemente no debes de serlo. These are from his book, Dear Preacher, Please Quit. Estos son del libro del predicador, estimado por favor, ríndete. Second quotation, <coughs> your church is probably pastored by a man who ought to be doing something else. Segunda cita, tu iglesia probablemente está pastoreada por un hombre que debe de ser otra cosa. And the third quotation, at least nine out of ten Bible-believing pastors ought to quit the ministry. La tercera cita, a lo menos la de a, a nueve de cada diez pastores creyentes en la Biblia deben de renunciar. And the last one, the last quotation, or two, or two more, at least nine out of ten Bible-believing churches in America are pastored by men who have no right to pastor or preach. Y uh, otra cita, at least no, nine out of ten. Nueve de cada diez uh, iglesias son pastoreadas uh, creyentes bíblicas. Deben de ser, uh, por, uh, uh, tienen un pastor que no debe de estar en el ministerio. Another quotation from Dr. Branson. Otra at cita. least 19 out of 20 se- such churches have not the slightest idea of what to look for in a pastor. Unquote. Otra cita, al menos 19 de cada 20 iglesias de ese tipo no tienen la más mínima idea de qué buscar en un pastor. How can Dr. Branson ask such questions? ¿Cómo es que Dr. Branson puede preguntar tal preguntas? He has been a preacher for almost 50 years himself. Ha sido predicador por casi 50 años él mismo. When he writes about unbearable hurt, 
He knows by experience what he's talking about. Cuando habla de dolor insoportable, sabe de lo que está diciendo. He suffered through a terrible church split while pastoring one large church and remained to pick up the pieces. Sufrió a través de un quebrantamiento horrible de iglesia grande, pero se quedó para recoger las, los piezas. Now, here are some quotations from famous preachers regarding his book, Dear Preacher, Please Quit. Aquí hay citas de su libro famoso, uh, uh, Dear uh, Predicador, Estimado, por favor, ríndete. Dr. W.A. Criswell, the pastor of the largest Baptist church in the world, said, quote, mandatory reading for every minister, unquote. El Dr. W.A. Criswell dijo, es algo que debe de ser obligatorio para cada ministerio leer. Dr. John Rawlings, patriarch of the Baptist Bible Fellowship, said, I commend Dr. Branson for his studious effort, unquote. Dr. Jo uh, John Rawlings el uh, padre de uh, los uh, compañeros bíblicos dijo, felicito a Dr. Branson por su esfuerzo estudioso. Dr. Lee Robertson said, a great patriarch among independent Baptists, Dr. Lee Robertson said, I quote, I certainly agree with Dr. Branson's general emphasis, unquote. El Dr. Lee Robertson dijo de que ciertamente estoy de acuerdo con el énfasis general del Dr. Branson. Dr. David Otis Fuller said that his book is, quote, filled with common sense advice. Scripture is quoted profusely, unquote. El Dr. David Otis Fuller dijo de que su libro está lleno de consejos de sentido común. Las escrituras se citan uh, abundamente. These great and famous pastors endorse his book, Dear Preacher, Please Quit. Estos predicadores están apoyando el libro del predicador estimado por favor, ríndete. The Bible says in the verse we looked at a moment ago, except how shall they preach except they be sent? Romans 10, 15. La Biblia dice en el verso que acabamos de ver, estimado predicador, uh, uh, ¿cómo, uh, ¿cómo predicarán si no fueron enviados? Dr. Branson said that God, quote, reveals his call in many different ways. Dr. Branson dijo de que Dios muestra su llamado en distintas maneras. But when he calls a man, that man will know it and remember it. Pero cuando llama a un hombre, el hombre lo sabrá y se recordará. There was no electrifying call to me as a young man. No hubo un llamado de electrizado para mí cuando yo era joven. I was thinking about what to do with my life. Estaba pensando en qué hacer con mi vida. I was an actor. El actor. I had acted in many plays. Y actuado en muchos dramas. But I knew there was little hope of, quote, making it in the theater. I, I went forward at the altar call and told the pastor I was going to be a preacher. This was not Dr. Lynn. This was the pastor of the First Baptist Church of Huntington Park, California. Esto no fue el Dr. Lane, esto fue la iglesia de Bautista, primera Bautista de Huntington Park, California. Dr. Lewis E. Maples. Con el Dr. Lewis E. Maples. That was all. Eso fue todo. I would not receive a more spiritual call for many years. No recibiría una llamada más espiritual por muchos años. Until I had failed in everything. Hasta que había fallado en todo. And God called me late one night when I was studying in a liberal seminary, which I hated. My call, originally, at the First Baptist Church of Huntington Park, was not well received. My first sermon was a disaster. Mi primer sermon fue un desastre. I vowed never to preach again. Dije que nunca voy a predicar de nuevo. But I just couldn't keep that vow. Pero no podía cumplir esa promesa. Now listen carefully to this. Escucho con cuidado esto. Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones was considered one of the greatest preachers of the 20th century. El Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones fue considerado uno de los mejores predicadores del siglo XX. Dr. Lloyd-Jones said that one of the ways to determine your call is to hear what other leaders in the church think about you. Dr. Lloyd-Jones dijo, uh, citando la memoria, una de las formas uh, 
para determinar el llamado es escuchar lo que los otros líderes de la iglesia piensan de ti. En su libro Preaching and Preachers, he said, they will tell you whether or not you are sent by God. En su libro de uh, predicando de, ya te, te dirán si eres que llamado uh, por Dios. And whether or not you have the gift of preaching ability. Unquote. Y, si es que tienes la habilidad de, de predicar, fin de cita traducida. As Dr. Branson said, quote, God may reveal his call in many different ways, unquote. Tal como dijo Dr. Branson, Dios puede revelar su llamada en muchas maneras diferentes. People don't realize how difficult it is to be a minister. La gente no sabe que difícil es ser un, un ministro. One man has a great many books in his library most of which he does not consult, but he thinks that he can learn from books how to be a preacher. That is impossible. Un hombre tiene muchos libros en su biblioteca y piensa que puede aprender de mirar esos libros, pero no los mira. Es imposible. And now that man has made another mistake. He's joined a seminary to learn. Uh, he's going to a seminary to learn how to preach expository sermons. Y ahora ese hombre ha hecho otro error teniendo un seminario para aprender cómo predicar sermones de exposición. Neither the books, many books in his library, nor the seminary will be able to teach him how to preach, because that is, comes from God. How shall they preach except they be sent by God? Los libros y el seminario no le van a poder enseñar cómo predicar por causa de que así no se aprende a predicar. ¿Cómo está a predicar a menos que sean enviados por Dios? God's strength. Dr. Dr. Branson quoted a medical doctor who said to a pastor, quote, I could never stand up under the load you carry. Dr. Branson citó un doctor médico que dijo a un pastor, nunca pudiera pararme bajo la carga que llevas. I wonder that more preachers don't have breakdowns of various sorts, unquote. Me pregunto por qué es que los predicadores no se atienen a quebran más. Dr. Branson said, quote, the preacher's words They fall on more deaf ears than receptive ones. Dr. Branson dijo que las palabras del predicador caen en oídos más sordos que receptivos. His motives are more suspected and wrongly attrib attributed to him more, than, more, often, more often than anybody else. Sus motivos son más sospechosos y atribuidos uh, y piensan uh, uh, malmente más frecuente que nada. If he is true to the Bible, no one is more hated by the world at large. Si es que él es fiel a la Biblia, nadie es más odiado por el mundo en general. Still reading Dr. Branson. No class of people in history has had to endure as much persecution, prejudice, and abuse. Ninguna clase de personas de la historia ha tenido que soportar tanta persecución, perjuicio, abuso. Plus ridicule, resistance, imprisonment, as preachers do. Y a, a, a ridículo de resistencia a puesto en cárcel como los predicadores se les hace. No other class of pre people have been so much the subject of malice, gossip, slander, and false accusations. Ningún otro tipo de persona ha sido da, ta, le han hecho tanta malicia, chisme, calumnias, falsas acusaciones. And hatred as preachers. Y odio como predicadores. Dr. Branson said in proportion to their numbers, None have contributed as many martyrs to any cause. In proportion in su, a sus números, ningunos han contribuido tantos martyrs a ninguna causa. These figures are from Dr. Branson. Over 50 million Baptists were martyred prior to Martin Luther's day. Estos números son de Roy Branson. Uh, más 50 de, million. De 50 millones de Baptistas fueron martyrs antes del día de Martin Lutero. Always it was the pastors that were first in prison, tortured, or killed. Siempre eran primero los pastores que eran puesto en cárcel, torturado, o matados. Pastor Constantine was stoned to death in 690 AD. Just giving a few examples. Pastor Constantino fue apedreado a la muerte en 690 antes de Cristo. Estoy dando ejemplos. And his successor was burned at the stake. El que le siguió fue quemado uh, en la hoguera. Talk about crashing and burning. Pastor Gerhard was cruelly and pun was cruelly punished in England in the middle in the mid 1100s. El pastor Gerhard fue cruelmente castigado en Inglaterra en medio de 1100. The life of John Wycliffe 
was continually in jeopardy until his death in 1384. La vida de John Wycliffe estuvo continuamente en peligro hasta su muerte en 1384. John Huss was burned at the stake in 1415. John Huss fue quemado de la hoguera en el 1415. The great preacher Savonarola was tortured and murdered in 1498. El gran predicador Savonarola fue torturado y matado en 1498. John Bunyan was jailed in a dungeon for 12 years. John Bunyan fue puesto de prisión por 12 años. His crime was preaching the gospel of Christ. Su crimen fue predicando el evangelio de Cristo. His blind daughter had to beg and be beaten. Su hija ciega tuvo que pedir la limosna y ser golpeada. Yet John Bunyan said, this is quoted from the Encyclopedia Britannica, Yet John Bunyan said, I must preach, I must do it. Y esto citando de la enciclopedia británica, John Bunyan dijo, yo tengo que predicar, tengo que hacerlo. Roger Williams, John Clark, and many other preachers were banished from Massachusetts in 1635. Roger Williams, John Clark, y muchos otros predicadores fueron votados afuera de Massachusetts en el 1635. Pastor James Ireland was jailed in Virginia for preaching. Pastor James Ireland fue puesto en prisión en Virginia por predicar. While in jail, his enemies tried to blow him up with gunpowder. Cuando estaba en la cárcel, los enemigos trataron de explotarlo con la pólvora de uh, con pólvora. When that didn't work, they tried to smother him with burning sulfur under his jail window. Cuando eso no uh, uh, tuvo de éxito, trataron de sofocarlo quemando azufre debajo de la ventana de la cárcel. When that didn't work, they tried to have a doctor poison him. Cuando eso no trató, no tuvo éxito, trataron de ser que un médico lo envenenara. In the last hundred years, millions of preachers have been persecuted or jailed for preaching the gospel. En los últimos de 100 años, millones de predicadores han sido de perseguidos o encarcelados por predicar el evangelio. Wherever the, wherever the communists have come to power, Christian pastors have been the first targets for persecution and death. Donde sea que los comunistas lleguen a tomar poder, los pastores cristianos son los primeros que son perseguidos y puestos a muerte. Pastor Richard Vermbrandt was scarred for life from 14 years in a communist prison. Pastor Richard Vermbrandt tuvo cicatrices por la vida por causa de 14 años en una prisión comunista. Now in America, preachers are already experiencing governmental and public persecution. Ahora en los Estados Unidos, los predicadores están teniendo persecución del gobierno y pública. Pastor Everett Sullivan spent 157 days in jail for teaching the Bible to children in his Sunday school. Pastor Everett Sullivan pasó 157 días en la cárcel por enseñar la Biblia a los niños en su escuela dominical. These are absolutely true. I remember them. Son absolutamente verdad. Me recuerdo de ellos. Pastor Lester Roloff was put in prison and lied about on the cover of a national magazine. El pastor Lester Roloff fue puesto en prisión y a, al ministerio de, eh, puesto en una cubierta de la revista nacional y mentido. His, quote, crime, unquote, was helping young people get off of drugs. El tal llamado crimen fue ayudar a los jóvenes a dejar las drogas. I've been reading a book on the life of Dr. J. Gresham Machen. Estoy leyendo un libro sobre la vida del Dr. Uh, Gresham uh, Machen. He was a professor at Princeton University. Fue profesor en la Universidad de Princeton. Last night I broke down and cried when I read what the liberals did to this great scholar and man of God. Ayer por noche lloré cuando vi lo que estos liberales hicieron a este gran hombre de Dios. In 1922, Harry Emerson Fosdick started to fight Dr. Machen. En 1922, Harry Emerson Fosdick empezó una lucha contra el Dr. Mason. By preaching a so-called sermon that he called, Shall the Fundamentalists Win? Por predicar un tal llamado sermón que él intituló, Ganarán los Fundamentalistas. He preached it on the radio, coast to coast, and gave out hundreds of copies of it, too. Lo predicó en la radio, costa a costa, y también repartió cientos de copias. Remember that... Harry Emerson Fosdick had Dr. John Sung committed to a mental institution for believing the Bible. Recuerda de que el uh, Fosdick hizo de que el Dr. John Sung fuera encarcelado en un manicomio 
a por creer la Biblia. Now he was after Dr. Machen. Ahora estaba atrás de Dr. Machen. Professor at Princeton University. Profesor en la Universidad de Princeton. Fosdick attacked the inspiration of the Bible in that sermon. Fosdick atacó la inspiración de la Biblia en ese sermón. He attacked the virgin birth of Christ. Atacó el nacimiento de Virgen de, Je de Jesús. He attacked the second coming of Christ. Atacó la segunda venida de Jesús. He attacked faith itself. Atacó la fe en sí misma. Calling it narrow-minded and worthless. Diciendo de que era de, uh, estrechamente sin valor. On the fifth page of his, quote, sermon, unquote, Fosdick called the fundamental doctrines of Christianity some minor matters of sectarian denominationalism, unquote. La quinta página de su sermón, Fosdick llamó... Minor llamó, matters, the, the, the inspiration of the Bible, the virgin birth of Christ, the second coming of Christ, minor matters. En su uh, uh, quinta página del sermón, llamó las doctrinas fundamentales del cristianismo como asuntos menores, el nacimiento de Virgen a la segunda venida. That's exactly what Clayton Harrop taught, Dr. Clayton Harrop taught in my liberal seminary. Eso es exactamente lo que el doctor Clayton Harrop enseñó en mi seminario liberal. At the end of his diatribe, Fosdick called for the, quote, weightier matters of the law. Weightier, more weighty than the virgin birth, the second coming of Christ. So, and, and the, the Bible inspiration, weightier matters of the law, open-mindedness. Uh, al fin de él uh, de estar hablando, dijo uh, de que uh, se debe de asuntos más profundos, uh, más que la segunda venida del Ta nacimiento de Tolerance Cristo. and liberalism. Estaba pidiendo por tolerancia y liberalismo. Unquote. You can get the sermon, look at it up uh, uh, online. It's called, Shall the Fundamentalists Win? Check it out to see if I'm right. Puedes mirar el sermón, búscalo en la internet, ganaron los, uh, los fundamentalistas. Listen to what the liberals did to one of the greatest preachers of all time, to some of the greatest preachers of all time. Escucha lo que los liberales hicieron a algunos de los mejores predicadores de todos los tiempos. Chrysostom, the golden mouth, was exiled. Christensen, el de boca de oro, fue exilado. Luther was expelled. Lutero fue expulsado. Baxter was locked up in the Tower of London. Baxter fue de, puesto en cárcel en la Torre de Londres. John and Charles Wesley were driven from the Anglican Church, John the Charles Church of we England. John and Charles Wesley fueron expulsados de la Iglesia Anglicana de Inglaterra. Whitfield was banished from every church in London. Whitfield fue puesto afuera de cada iglesia en Londres. Jonathan Edwards was forced from his own church and fired. Jonathan Edwards fue expulsado de su propia iglesia y despedido. Spurgeon, the prince of preachers, was censured by the Baptist Union. Spurgeon, el príncipe de predicadores, fue censurado por la Unión Bautista. And Machen was defrocked. That is, they took away his, his, his ordination by the Presbyterian Church. Y Machen fue de defrocked el quitaron la ordenación, la, la iglesia presbiteriana lo quitó uh, de ser ministro. As I read about it last night in a book published by the Banner of Truth Trust, But, I broke into tears because he was treated so horribly and he was such a great man. Leyendo ayer por la noche en mi libro de la Banner of Truth Trust, lloré porque lo trataron tan mal. J. Gretchen Machen, Machen, was a great teacher and great preacher in the Presbyterian Church, and they defrocked him for believing the Bible. J. Gratian Machen fue de, uh, expulsado de la Iglesia Presbyteriana y era gran predicador. Were these men wrong for what they did? Estaban equivocados estos hombres por lo que Were hicieron? these men wrong? Estaban equivocados? No, it was Harry Emerson Fosdick and men like him who were wrong. No. Harry Emerson Fosdick y hombres como él estaban equivocados. Harry Emerson Fosdick now in hell. Henry, Harry Emerson Fosdick ahora en el infierno. Please turn to John 15, 19 and 20. 15, 19 and 20, page 1137. Page 1137, John 15, 19. 
Por favor, voltea a Juan 15, 19, a página 1093, Juan 15, 19, página 1093, página 1093. If you are of the world, the world would love his own. Si fueras del mundo, el mundo amaría lo suyo. Because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Pero porque no soy del mundo, antes yo os he elegido del mundo, por eso el mundo os aborrece. Jesus said, remember the word that I have said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. Jesús dijo, acordad de la palabra que os he dicho, el siervo no es mayor que su Señor. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Si a mí me han perseguido, también vosotros os perseguirán. If they have kept my saying, they will also, they will keep yours also. Si han guardado mi palabra, también guardarán la vuestra. Now turn to John 16, 2. Chapter 16, verse 2. Voltea a Juan, capítulo 16, verso 2. Page 1137. Página 1093. 16, verse 2. 16, verso 2. They shall put you out of their synagogues. Os expulsarán de las sinagogas. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service, unquote. Y aún viene la hora cuando cualquiera que os mate pensará que rinde servicio a Dios. Turn to 2 Timothy 3.12, page 1.281, page 1.281, 2 Timothy 3.12. Volte a 2 Timoteo 3.12, a, a página 1.238, página 1.238. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution, not just preachers. Todos preachers are number, vivir, number one. Pedosamente en Cristo Jesús, Padecerán persecución, no solamente los predicadores. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Todos los que quieren vivir vigorosamente en Cristo Jesús padecerán persecución. Where can we get strength to continue to serve God? Donde podemos obtener fuerza para continuar sirviendo a Dios. Dr. Branson says God usually gives strength through progressive steps. Dr. Branson dice que Dios la fuerza a través de pasos progresivos. We studied that last week, that Joseph learned to trust God and have strength by a series of tests. Aprendimos eso la semana pasada, de que José aprendió a confiar en Dios teniendo fuerzas a, a mediante a través de varios pruebas. That is true of anyone who wants to be an overcomer and reign in the kingdom, particularly a preacher. Es verdad de una, cualquiera que quiere ser un vencedor en el reino, a particularmente de un predicador. But to a lesser extent, everyone who wants to be an overcomer. Pero también a todos que quieren ser unos que están venciendo. I've had many preachers and church members ask me how I could be so strong. Muchos predicadores, miembros de la iglesia, me han preguntado cómo es que tú pudiste ser tan fuerte. Here is the answer. Aquí está la respuesta. Dr. Branson said, God prepares us for greater tasks and troubles by exposing us first to lesser ones. Dr. Branson dice que Dios nos prepara para tareas y problemas mayores a primero de dándonos a, a poniéndonos a primero. Moses progressed from having Aaron speak to Pharaoh for him. Teniendo menores primero, Moisés progresó de haber hecho de que Aarón hablara a Faraón por él. He progressed to speaking for himself. Progresó a hablar por sí mismo. He progressed to leading the people out of Egypt. Progresó a sacar la gente de Egipto. He progressed to facing the world's most powerful army unafraid. El progresó a enfrentar el ejército más poderoso del mundo sin temor. Now listen to a quotation from Dr. A.W. Tozer. Escucho una cita del Dr. A.W. Tozer. Dr. Tozer said, There are few things which excite such pity as the sight of a vain little man puffing himself up to try to hide his smallness, unquote. El doctor W. A. Tozer dijo de que hay pocas cosas que sostienen la tan la lástima que a la vista de un pequeño hombre vanidoso que trata de parecerse a, a grande. I remember seeing a photograph of a little man who put on a black cowboy hat that was so big it made him look like a dwarf. Me recuerdo la foto de un hombre tan pequeño de que se little Chinese un, man. Un, un sombrero grande negro de vaquero tan grande que lo hizo parecer como era un enanito. Uh, era un hombre chino. I also remember my son, Robert, seeing a big man walking down the street in cowboy boots with a Stetson cowboy hat on. También me recuerdo mi hijo, 
Roberto viendo un hombre caminando por las calles con un sombrero vaquero Stetson. In, on the street in, Mar in Monrovia, California, trying to look like Goliath. Although this man's body was big, my son laughed at him. A little man trying to look big. A big man with a small soul trying to hide his inward smallness. Su pequeña, da, pe, pe, pequeñeza que tenía por adentro. Both of these men called themselves, quote, preachers, but they were too small inside to do anything much for God. Ambos de estos predicadores se llamaron predicadores, pero eran demasiado da, pequeños para hacer algo por Dios. Cowboy, cowboy boots and cowboy hats do not make a man big enough inside to do much for God. Las botas de vaqueros y sombreros de vaqueros no hacen mucho para... A que haga algo por Dios. What should a preacher do when God tells him to do something he knows may actually start trouble and may even split his church? Well, he better not say, I prayed about it. He must really pray and get God's leading in the matter. Mejor que no diga de que oró, pero en vez de que realmente ore y que consigue uh, la guianza de Dios en el asunto. Here is one thing that happened to me. Aquí es algo que pasó a mí. Without telling the whole story, I will just say that I slowly began to realize that in our church in the inner city of Los Angeles, the majority of the people came from the majority of the people came from bad cultures. It was all they could do to be in church on Sunday morning. They had no idea from their cultural background how to have a truly Christian home. No tenía ninguna idea de la, uh, cómo tener por su cultura de, uh, cómo tener un hogar cristiano. And they couldn't remember or actually do what was taught by me from the pulpit. No pueden recordar o hacer lo que les enseñé desde el púlpito. Now, I don't believe in giving up easily. Yo no creo en rendirme fácilmente. So I spent 45 years with these people. Pasé 45 años con estas gentes. But I couldn't teach them anything. They couldn't remember it from one week to the next, no even from one day to the next. No podía enseñarles nada. No se podía recordar nada de un día al próximo. I remember preaching a sermon called Revival for Survival. Me recuerdo predicando un sermón que era el titulado Avivamiento para sobrevivir. They would come. We had a, a, a touch of revival, but they would come the next night expecting God to be there like he was the night before, and he wasn't there because they didn't pray. And then they would pray, and then he would come back. God would come back, and then the next night they wouldn't pray again. That went on and on and on. Finally, I gave up on them. Yeah. They couldn't remember from one night to the next to pray. To pray. Is that true, Doctor? Yes. Let's hear you. Yes, they, they would, very emotional. They would, they would, one night God would be present, and the people would expect and assume that God would be present for all the meetings after that, and they would come without prayer, just lightly, and God would not be present. It was like a roller coaster. So. God present, not present, not present, not present. Revival for survival. I finally gave up the idea of having a revival because the people were culturally too impoverished. Y tuvimos un toque de avivamiento. La gente venía y uh, oraban y después el próximo día no oraban, no teníamos nada. De, y la cosa es que así, así y no, así y no, como una montaña rusa. Uh, y al fin me de, 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 dejé la idea de avivamiento porque la gente era demasiado pobre, débil uh, de, de cultura. I don't believe in giving up easily, so I continue to preach and lead the church no for creo, 45 years. No creo en rendirme fácilmente. Continué predicando, da, guiando la iglesia por 45 años. Yet every four or five years, the unruly people from the inner city caused another church split. We had one church split after the other every four or five years because they couldn't remember not to have secret meetings, not to backbite and so forth. 
pero cada cuatro o cinco años teníamos a quebrantamiento de la iglesia porque no se podían recordar de no tener reuniones secretas y no estar chisnando, calumniando. I did not change anything for a long time. No cambié nada por largo tiempo. But the problems did not go away. Pero los problemas no se desaparecieron. Finally, God drew my attention to two verses of Scripture, but first I want to read something to you. Finalmente Dios llamó mi atención a dos versos de la Escritura, pero primero quiero leer algo a ti. This is a book called Prayer by Dr. Ole Halsby. Esto es un libro que es titulado La Oración por el Dr. Ole Halsby. Dr. Halsby was a professor in what country, doctor? Was that even Norway? Norway. Norwegian, yeah. Este and a profesor. very great man of prayer. In this little book, Prayer, I would tell the people in, in uh, the downtown church to read the book. It's about, well, oh, 208 pages. Take about an hour and a half to read. Nobody would read it. Why? Because to read a book <sighs> scared them because nobody in their culture ever read books. La cosa es que él era de Norway, Uh, pero y, uh, y habló sobre oración le decía a la gente que lo leyera nadie lo leyó por causa de que tenían miedo en la cultura de ellos leer un libro notice I'm not talking about races now I'm talking about culture fíjate que no estoy hablando de razas pero si no estoy hablando de cultura what is the culture of the inner city cuál es la cultura de la ciudad central look at the nightly news mira las noticias uh, de cada noche the rioting the looting the burning están a, a smashing. Las quejas, las quemanzas, a los robos. That is the culture of the inner city. Eso es la cultura de la ciudad central. The drugs, the divorce. Las drogas, el divorcio. The sexual crimes. That es, is the culture of the inner city. El crimen sexual. Eso es la cultura de la ciudad central. Dr. Halsby said... A leader must, must not only have wisdom and experience, but also great personal courage. Un líder no debe de solamente tener sabiduría, experiencia, pero también valor. Enabling him to dare to act according to his, or, to his own convictions, and not merely according to the desires of the majority. Y para que tenga el valor para seguir sus convicciones y no solamente lo que dice la mayoría. It often requires a great deal of strength and courage. Frecuentemente requiere gran valor y a fuerza. To carry out the things he believes to be the will of God. Para hacer esas cosas que cree que son la voluntad de Dios. And to do so, even when the opposition is triumphant and friends grow weary and leave. Y aún hacerlo cuando la gente se, uh, se cansan y a los amigos se van. Well, that's what happened to me. Eso es lo que pasó a mí. After 45 years and about seven splits. Después de 45 años y siete quebrantamientos. I began to think about two verses of scripture. We're going to look at both of them. Empecé a pensar dos versos de la escritura y vamos a mirar los dos. I will tell you. Te voy a decir. You can't go ahead of time. The first one is Matthew 7, verse 6, page 1003. Matthew 7, verse 6. El primero es Mateo, capítulo 7, verso 6, página 963, 963. Give not that which is holy unto dogs. No deis lo santo a los perros. Neither cast your pearls before swine. Ni eches vuestra perla delante de los cerdos. Lest they trample them under their feet and turn again. And tear you or rend you. Matthew 7, 6. No sea que lo pisotean y se vuelvan y os despadecen. Mateo 7, 6. The dogs and swine are people of a of too low a cultural condition to be able to receive the word of God and do it. La gente de uh, los uh, perros y los cerdos son esa gente de que son de cultura demasiado bajo para hacerlo. Don't cast your pearls before swine. No eches Before pigs. Las, uh, perlas delante de los cerdos. The second verse is Luke 10, 10 and 11. 
page 1088, page 1088, Luke 10, verse 10. El segundo verso es Lucas capítulo 10, verso 10 a 11, página 1046. These verses began to become very important to me as I read them. But <laughs> under whose whatsoever city ye enter, and, ha and they receive you not, and they receive you not, go your way out into the streets and say, even the very dust of your city which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you. Lucas 10, 10, más en cualquier ciudad donde entres y no os recibiréis a saliendo por él a sus calles, decir, aún el polvo de vuestra ciudad que se ha pegado a nuestros pies, nos sacudimos contra vosotros, pero de esto sabed que... Notwithstanding, be sure of this, that the kingdom of God has come near unto you. Pero esto sabed que el reino de Dios se ha acercado a vosotros. It's important, look at the verse. Es importante, mira el verso. Well, I know what it says. No, you don't. You could, if your life depended on it, you couldn't have finished that verse. And yet you didn't look at it. And that's one of the problems of the inner city. Míralo, no lo miraste. Si tu vida dependiera, no pudiera terminar. Eso es uno de los problemas de la ciudad central. I knew within myself that God wanted our church to have a missionary outreach on our website to help preachers in the third world. Yo sabía de que Dios quería que nuestra iglesia tuviera un alcance de misionero uh, al mundo de tercero y nuestro sitio de internet. But the culture of most people in our inner city church could never, because of their culture, be able to build a church that could be strong enough to do that. Pero la cultura de la mayoría de la gente de la ciudad de central nuestra no era suficiente fuerte uh, para hacer eso. I have, never run, I have never run away from trouble. Yo nunca he corrido a escapando de problemas. Psalm 27 has been my personal psalm for many, many years. Salmo 27 ha sido mi salmo personal por muchos, muchos años. The last two verses have kept me from going, kept me going through thick and thin. Los últimos versos me han ayudado a, a través de bueno y malo. Page 6, 11, Psalm 27, 13 and 14. Página 575. Salmo 27, 13, 14. Stand as I read them. De pie cuando lo lea. Page 611, Psalm 27, 13, and 14. Página 575, Salmo 27, 13, 14. De pie lo voy a leer. I had fainted unless I had believed to see. Stand as I read it. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. De pie. Hubiera yo desmayado si no creyese que verá la bondad de Jehová en la tierra de los vivientes. Wait on the Lord. Underline the word wait. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait. Underline it. I say on, on the Lord. Amen. Psalm 27, 13 and 14. You may be seated. Aguardad. En su rayo. Aguardad a Jehová y esfuérzate. Aliéntase tu corazón. Sí. Espera a Jehová. Salmo 27, 13, 14. Believing those verses that tell you to wait, I never make, I never make quick decisions. Creyendo esos versos te dice que esperes, nunca hago decisiones rápidas. Wait on the Lord. Espera a Jehová. Over the weeks and months, I struggled with Psalm 27, 13, and 14, and the two verses in Matthew and Luke. I finally began to teach our people that it was time to leave the inner city and start a church the people from a better culture. Durante las semanas, luché con Salmo 27, 13, 14, uh, y los versículos en Mateo de, y a Lucas, finalmente comencé a, a ver de que uh, tenemos que empezar una iglesia de, con uh, gente de mejor cultura. The Chinese and other oriental people who lived in a suburb of Los Angeles. Los uh, chinos y gente de otra cultura que vivían en los suburbios de Los Ángeles. Remember, I started teaching these things about 45 years after Preaching, como preaching to people that couldn't remember from one night to the next what I said. Here's an example. Aquí es un ejemplo. In, all, in virtually every sermon in the church, I preach that salvation comes by trusting Christ and give an invitation in every sermon. Casi cada sermón que yo predicaba en la iglesia decía de que la salvación viene por confiando en Jesús y daba invitación. One man from the low culture of the inner city pretended to do that, said he had done that. Un hombre de la cultura baja 
en la ciudad central dijo que había hecho eso. After a few weeks, I asked him to give his testimony. He said, God has always been good to me. No mention of Christ at all. And I said, that man is still not saved. He's a Unitarian. He's not a Christian. His daughter got so mad she left the church. What madness. Would she rather have her husband, her, her, her father go to hell than to have, to have him corrected? Such was the spirituality of the low-class people that made up the church. Le pregunté de alguien que diera su testimonio y dijo de que Dios siempre ha estado conmigo. No, dije que eso no es cierto. Eso es haciendo un unitariano. Uh, y la cosa es de que tú no estás salvo. Uh, la hija se enojó tanto que se fue de la iglesia. Así era la cultura baja de la those, iglesia. That's a true story. Eso en verdad pasó. As I taught those things, I knew it would split the church. Enseñando eso, yo sabía que iba a quebrantar la iglesia. I knew that most of our people would want to stay in the inner city. Yo sabía que la mayoría de la gente iba a, quedar, iba a querer quedarse en la uh, ciudad central. En una church que was barely above a storefront church. En una iglesia que era casi un poquito mejor que una iglesia pequeña de tienda. Which would fit their culture better. Que iba a ser con la cultura de ellos uh, mejor. You can see for yourself what their culture was by watching the news on television with the instability and rioting and stealing and breaking in of inner city people every night on the news. And I knew for a long time that our church would have to go through a big split to do what God wanted us to do and become a blessing to, church, to churches in the third world. Yo sabía de que nuestra iglesia iba a tener que pasar un quebrantamiento grande para que pudiéramos hacer lo que Dios quería que hiciéramos en el tercer mundo. Bingo! As we got closer to moving the church, the next split started. Bingo! Mediante acercarnos a, a, a mover a la, la iglesia, el próximo quebrantamiento pensó, empezó. One deacon screamed and tried to get in a fist fight with me in front of many of our young people. Un diácono me gritó y trató de pelearme Uh, con, uh, en frente de muchos jóvenes. Another deacon began to have quote secret meetings unquote to recruit people for a church he wanted to keep in the inner city. Otro diácono empezó a tener reuniones secretas para uh, agarrar gente para una iglesia en la ciudad, uh, que quería mantener la ciudad central. A third deacon took pornographic pictures of himself and his wife and put them on the internet. What madness! Un tercer diácono tomó Fotos pornográficas de él y su esposa y la puso en la internet. ¡Qué locura! The Bible says madness is in their heart while they live, and after that they go to the dead. La Biblia en breve dice de que la insensatez, la locura está en su corazón mientras que viven y después de eso van a la muerte. Then the lid blew off the church, and the inner city crowd rebelled in ways that would not be believed by a preacher from a better culture and environment. Y entonces se explotó todo uh, y a uh, la gente de, se puso rebelde en manera de que los predicadores de mejor cultura y ambiente no creerían. I remember the day when so many people left on that day that my young preacher boy thought it was the end of the church and recuerdo, left himself. Me recuerdo el día cuando de joven predicador, mi joven predicador dijo uh, de que tanta gente se había ido que era el fin de la iglesia y él mismo se fue. But God gave me perfect peace because I knew ahead of time what would happen. And then the coronavirus hit. Y entonces pegó el coronavirus. My son Robert sold our downtown building and Dr. Kagan found another church in the suburbs which we purchased. Mi hijo Roberto vendió el edificio en la ciudad central y Dr. Kagan encontró otro edificio que compramos. The two men who wore cowboy boots to look big ran off with two-thirds of our people. Los dos hombres que tenían sombreros de vaqueros uh, para hacerse parecer grande se fue con dos tercios de la gente. We have to meet in houses with the preaching on videos because of the coronavirus, which we're doing today. Tenemos que reunirnos en casas a través de video por causa del de coronavirus. 
Believe me when I say that it's a very unusual thing for a man like me in, in the 80th year of his life to start a new church. How many 80-year-old men start a church? I never heard of one. Créeme, es muy raro para que un hombre de 80 años como yo empiece una iglesia. Yo nunca escucho de hombres de 80 años de edad que empiecen una iglesia. I certainly could not do it if Dr. Kagan, my darling wife, and my sons were not with, it, with me. Ciertamente, ciertamente no lo pudiera hacer si es que el Dr. Kagan, mi querida esposa, mis hijos no estuvieran conmigo. I can do I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4.13, that's my life verse. Todo lo puedo en Cristo que me fortalece. Eso es mi verso de vida, Filipenses 4.13. Please stand as I read Psalm 22. It's page 609. Psalm 23, page 609. Póngase de pie mientras que yo lea. Uh, yo leo Salmo 23, página 573, página 573, Salmo 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Jehová es mi pastor, nada me faltará. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. En lugar de delicios a pastos, me hace descansar. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Junto a agua de reposo, me pastoreará. He restoreth my soul. Confrontará mi alma. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Me guía por senda de justicia por amor de su nombre. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Aunque ande en valle de la sombra de muerte, no temeré a mal alguno. For thou art with me. Porque tú estarás conmigo. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Tu barra y tu callado me infundirán aliento. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Haderás mesa delante de mí. En presencia de mis angustiadores. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Unges mi cabeza con aceite, mi copa está rebosando. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Ciertamente el bien y la misericordia me seguirán todos los días de mi, de mi vida. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. En casa de Jehová moraré por largos días. Now sing our hymn again. It's a great hymn. It's a true hymn. It's a real hymn. It's not just a a, 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 a a gospel song. It's a true hymn by Dr. Isaac Watts. Cante este himno. No es solamente un canto del Evangelio, pero es un himno verdadero por el Dr. Isaac Watts. Which comes directly out, the song comes directly out of the first great awakening. Este canto viene de primer gran despertamiento. Am I a soldier of the cross? A follower of the Lamb, and shall I fear to own his cause, or blush to speak his name? Must I be, sing it out, must I be carried to the skies, on flowery beds of ease, while others fought to win the prize, and sail through bloody seas? Are there no foes for me to face? Must I not stem the flood? Is this vile world a friend to grace to help me on to God? Sure, I must fight if I would reign. Increase my courage, Lord. I'll bear the toil, endure the pain, supported by thy word. You may be seated. Now look up. There are some people here who are probably not saved, one or two. If you are not saved, I want you to trust Jesus Christ. He came down from heaven to, to die on the cross to pay the penalty for your sins. The moment you trust Jesus, his blood will cleanse you from all sin. En el momento que confías en Jesús, su sangre te limpiará de todos vuestros pecados. Not to believe things about Jesus. I believe that Jesus died for me. That won't do you any good. You have to trust Jesus himself, and then his blood will cleanse you from all sin. No creer cosas de Jesús, pero sino de creer uh, de que, uh, en él mismo, entonces la sangre te limpiará de los pecados. And it is my prayer that you will trust Jesus. Yo rezo que usted confiará en Jesús. 
Thanks to Dr. Branson for today's lesson. Gracias, Dr. Branson, por la lección de hoy. Next week, I'll give a little bit more from a couple of his books. La próxima semana voy a dar un poco más de sus libros. Here's something interesting about the inner city culture. Acá algo interesante de la cultura de la ciudad central. I thought they've got to read Dr. Roy Branson's book, Church Split. Pensé tienen que leer el libro de Dr. Charles Branson, Quebrantamiento de Iglesia. And I asked him to read that, but it's a short book. He could read it in about two hours. I could read it in an hour and a half. Le the whole book. Le pedí que lo leyeran, es un libro corto, se puede leer como dos horas. Year after year, they did not read it. Año tras año no lo leyeron. I finally realized, to them, reading a book was a big thing, because nobody in their culture read books. So we have to go to a culture where people read books. Nobody can be a good Christian today without reading a book, at no. least a few books. Now look, I spent a lot of time on this sermon. I spent, well, I spent last night, I spent 11 hours writing. Fíjate, yo pasé mucho tiempo en este sermón, pasé 11 horas escribiéndolo. And I spent many hours in prayer. As you can ask my wife, I stayed up all night long, from, from, from midnight till 11 in the morning, writing the sermon and praying upstairs. And in the meantime, I read a book on Dr. J. Gresham Machen, a big, thick book, a kind of a boring book, by the way. Yo pasé de toda la noche varios días orando, de, escribiendo esto, pero en el mismo tiempo me pasé de, leyendo un libro del grande uh, uh, que también en el mismo tiempo. I read three books this year along with everything else, el, along with the Bible and everything else. He leído tres libros este año con uh, la Biblia y todas las otras cosas. The Precious and the Vile, twice I've read. Once I read it through, now I've read it through the second time. Two-thirds of the way through already. A book on Churchill and the Blitz. I've also read J. Gretchen Machen's biography published by, published by the Banner of Truth Trust. Plus everything else I read. You see, even though, but you see, even though I come I don't come from a very good uh, culture, but in my culture, people read books. Back in the, in, the, in the World War II, every man had a paperback book in his, in his hand. He read, he read, they read books when they were in the army, the navy, they read books while they were uh, on their lunch breaks. And they talked about them. Everybody read books, everybody read the newspaper. Now nobody reads. They only go out in the street and break into windows and steal. So the culture, the basic culture of the inner city has descended into a Neanderthal position from the high position of World War II. Cuando yo era joven, a la generación de la Segunda Guerra Mundial, todos leían libros. Todos los hombres tenían un libro que, que leían. La cosa es de que ahora son Neanderthals de que han bajado, ha caído de la cultura alta que había antes en la Segunda Guerra Mundial. The last split in our church took place because the people couldn't read. I mean, they would, they, you don't expect me to read a book. It's actually that thick. Y el último quebrantamiento de la iglesia ocurrió porque la gente de no, tú no puedes separar que voy a leer un libro que era solamente como así. Now you take my, my, my autobiography. It's a book of about 200 pages. Mira, por ejemplo, mi autobiografía, un libro de como 200 páginas. And I wrote it with the, the idea in mind of helping young people as they read it. Lo escribí con la idea de ayudar a los hombres cuando lo leían. It's this book. It's 200, with, with the back pages, 240 pages. 240 páginas con lo que está en la parte atrás. I gave it away, I talked about it, I lowered the price, I gave it, I gave it, I gave it, read it, read it, read it. And after two years of telling people to read it, I had a group of young people here in, in my office who wanted to be leaders in the church. I said, how many have not read it? 
two men who had been here all the time for two years had not read one word of this book. Why? Because in the culture of the inner city, they're afraid of books. Two people, after two years of me pounding, get this book, read this book, they didn't read my autobiography. Y a dos jóvenes después de a, right, Doc? Mm -hmm. todo ese tiempo de leerlo, no lo leyeron porque tienen la cultura de ellos, miedo de leer libros. So, amen. You have to be sent by God, not by a church. Amen. Tienes que ser enviado de Dios, no de una iglesia. One of the men, the little man that wore a big black hat and made him look like a dwarf, he thought he could be sent by a church. And that was what the verse meant. It doesn't mean that. With all the books he had in his library and the seminary he's going to where they'll teach him how to preach. You can't teach a man how to preach. He has to be called by and sent by God. He doesn't know. And how shall they preach except they be sent? means sent by God. He doesn't know that. Very basic, very simple. And the man has... The man is a professional. Professional. Well, he's a medical doctor, and he and he couldn't figure that out from all the books, all the commentaries he has. Ridiculous. Dear Because, preacher, please quit. Y ese hombre de pequeño, de con sombrero grande negro, da piensa de que uh, uh, puede aprender uh, cómo predicar en un seminario. No, es un profesional, es un doctor, uh, y no puede entender eso. De que cómo predicará al menos que sean enviado por Dios, estimado predicador, por favor, ríndete. We'd be far better off if we had. I agree with Dr. Branson that uh, maybe nine out of ten churches are pastored by men that aren't called to the ministry. I agree with that completely. Yo estoy de acuerdo completamente con lo que dijo el Dr. Roy Branson de que nueve de diez cada iglesia tienen pastores que no son llamados. And you can't learn to preach in a seminary. No puedes aprender a predicar en un seminario. And you can't learn to preach by reading books. No puedes aprender a predicar por leyendo libros. It ha you have to be sent by God or you can't preach. Tiene que ser enviado por Dios o si no, no puedes predicar. Love you, young people. Thank you for watching today's sermon. Gracias por mirar el sermón de hoy. And... If you are not saved, I urge you to come to Jesus. When I was a young person, I went forward uh, many, many times uh, to be saved and to rededicate my life, but somehow I never got saved that way. When I did get saved, it was a very simple matter. I simply came to Jesus and trusted him, and he saved me and washed me clean with his blood. Simplemente vine a Jesús, confié en él y él me lavó con su sangre. It's extremely to, important to know where Jesus is. I don't think I really thought about that before the, I was saved, the day I was saved. Es muy importante que sepa dónde es que está Jesús. Yo no creo que pensé de eso antes del día que fui salvo. Right now, Jesus is not in the air all around us. Uh, he's not on the cross still. Uh, Jesus is not in our hearts. The Holy Spirit is, but not Jesus. The Bible says repeatedly, over and over again, that Jesus is at the right hand of God the Father in heaven. Jesús no está todo alrededor de nosotros, no está en el corazón. El Espíritu Santo sí está con nosotros, pero Jesús en la Biblia dice que está a la mano derecha de Dios el Padre en el cielo. And Jesus loves you. He's not angry with you. Jesús te ama, no está enojado contigo. God the Father 
is angry with the wicked every day, but Jesus came into the world, the Son of God came into the world to save sinners. And he loves you. 神呢，每天都生那些罪人的气，因为为他们犯的罪。但是耶稣基督来到人间，他为了是拯救罪人。Jesús no está enojado contigo. Jesús vino al mundo para salvar los pecadores. Él te ama. And God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Even though He was angry with sin, He loved the world and sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. 虽然神憎恶这些世间的罪孽，但是呢，他爱世人，将他自己的独生子赐到赐给我们，让一切信他的不至灭亡，反得永生。约翰福音三章十六节。De tal manera amó Dios el mundo que dio su hijo unigénito para que cualquiera que crea en él no se pierda más tenga vida eterna. Sometimes people ask me, how do you come to Jesus? 有时候常常有人问我，如何才能走向基督？ A veces la gente me pregunta cómo es que vienes a Jesús. I never answer that question because the Bible doesn't answer it. 我从来没有去回答这个问题，因为圣经没有这样回答。Nunca doy respuesta a esa pregunta porque la Biblia no da respuesta. When you are tired of your sin and tired of your struggle, then God will draw you to Jesus, and it will be a very simple matter. 当你厌倦了自己的罪恶的时候，当你厌倦了那种挣扎之下的时候，的结果神就会自然而然引导你信靠基督了。When the stars come down to the two pecados, the stones are a sum of rules of faith that can Dios traiga Jesús. Not long ago, I was reading again the testimony of the salvation of Dr. A. W. Tozer. 不久以前，我又一次读了读 A. W. Tozer 博士他得救的见证。Recientemente estaba leyendo de nuevo el la conversión al testimonio de la Dr. Tozer. Dr. Tozer heard a man preach the gospel on a street corner. 要叫托舍博士在一个街头，在街边听到一个人宣讲福音。Dr. Tozer saw alguien predicando el evangelio de una esquina. It was the first time he had ever heard the gospel. 这是他头一次、第一次听到福音的宣扬。Fue la primera vez que había escuchado el evangelio. He was 17 years old. 十七岁才。Diecisiete años de edad. And Dr. Tozer ran home. He didn't stop to talk to anybody. Or tell anybody about it, he ran home and went up into the attic of his house, of his father's house. This Dr. Tozer 博士一路跑回家，路上没有跟任何人打，然后跑到家以后，去到阁楼上面，他的父亲家里的阁楼上面藏起来。Dr. Tozer 啊，都啊，跑回了家里，然后听到这些，没有跟任何人打，就跑到家里，然后跑到家里，然后跑到家里，然后跑到家里，然后跑到家里，然后跑到家里。结果就在阁楼上面单独一个人跪下以后，在啊靠信念信靠了耶稣基督。Se arrodilló y vino en seguida a Jesús. And he went on to become one of the great preachers of the 20th century. 结果继续成为一个二十世纪最知名的一个传教士之一。Fue uno de los grandes predicadores del siglo XX. Perhaps that would be a good way for you、uh, to do. If you heard this sermon and you feel that you're lost, get in a quiet place by yourself. 有可能这是可以成为你得救的方式。当你在网站上听到我们这个宣道的时候，可以自己一个人单独一个人在单独祷告。第三的 ，eso sería bueno también para ti. Si estás escuchando este sermón y estás perdido, ve a un lugar callado de solo. Get down on your knees. That helps to humble you. Get down on your knees and come to Jesus, and His blood will wash every sin away, past, present, and future. 这样跪下呢，帮助你作为一些卑微一下，让这样跪下请求神的，请求耶稣基督，请求神的原谅。这样呢，原谅你过去、现在和未来全部的罪孽。In cuanto a tus rodillas y a ven a Jesús, él lavará tus pecados pasado, presente, futuro. Repent and believe in Jesus. 当忏悔，信靠主耶稣。Arrepiéntete, cree en Jesús. Turn away from your sinful lifestyle and get down on your knees and simply. By faith, come to Jesus. That's all He requires. Him that cometh to Me, I will in no wise cast out. He said in the sixth chapter of John. 在约翰福音六章，呃，这里面讲耶稣这样到我这里来，我绝不会离弃他们。所以你要抛弃自己邪恶的生活，结果转向耶稣，靠信念信靠他，这就是他所需要的一切了。Ese camino bien no lo rechazaré, dijo de breve en el Evangelio de Juan. And then, if you do come to Christ, I Pray that you will get in to a church as soon as possible and be in church every time the door is open. There's no more important advice that I can give you. Get into a church and be there every time the door is open. 
。但是，当你得到转变之后，一定要找一个地方教会，每一次教会有活动都去参加，没有比这更重要的了。一旦你得到转变，增加一个地方教会。No hay mejor consejo que te pido,、uh, puedo dar menos que ve a la iglesia, diste ahí cada vez que la puerta esté abierta. And if at all possible, make sure it's a church that preaches from the authorized King James Bible and sings the traditional hymns. 如果可能的话，这个教会应当是宣扬 King James 的版本，而且他们唱的是传统的圣诗。Y si es posible, asegúrate de que sea de la King James、uh, y、uh, los himnos antiguos. And go to the pastor and tell the pastor that you've been saved. 而且告诉了牧师你如何得救的 Habla con el pastor, dile que fuiste salvo. And the best advice I could possibly give you is to get in to a church, a local church, and be there every time the doors open. That's the way to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And be sure to send a tithe, give a tithe of your money to the church, and God will bless you. So, I give you the most important advice: is to enter a church, in that church, in the grace of God, grow and grow, and take your tithe of your money and give it to the local church. Make sure that you are in a local church. This is one of the best ways to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, let's talk about the church. 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 Quiero pedirte de que nos ayudes apoyando esta este ministerio. Because these sermons are going out throughout the world in many many languages, and we're adding more languages almost every month. 要叫我们这是通过网站各种各样的十几种语言，而且我们越来越多的语言不断的每个月都要加上去，所以这是传遍世界的一个福音。Estos sermones van a través del mundo en internet en muchos idiomas y añadimos más idiomas casi cada mes. And Dr. Kagan, who are, is our statistician, has estimated, based on various things that he studied, that 80 percent of those who watch these sermons, who read my sermons in manuscript form on this website, 80 percent of them are pastors. Kagan 博士，我们教会的一个统计学家，他这样估计，就是在我们网站上面读我们讲道那些朋友呢，百分之八十都是宣道士。Y el doctor Kagan, que hace las estadísticas con nosotros, da piensa de que ochenta por ciento de la gente que ve estos videos, escucha de esa, son predicadores. And they are using these sermons when they get stuck, as as I often do,、uh, to give them a sermon idea. And、uh, in the third world,、uh, in places where the gospel cannot go, many preachers are preaching these sermons verbatim, right, word for word. 要叫很多的牧师，当他们自己根本就没有不知道要宣讲什么的时候呢，通过网站可以得到一些启发。很多在第三世界国家那些教会的牧师，通过我们网站什么，逐字逐句就是用我们的讲的道来宣讲。Y ayuda a pastores a veces cuando no saben a qué predicar, pero también en los países tercer mundo son la están predicando palabra por palabra. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know it until not too long ago, but one third of the world. Does not have any, not even one missionary. Doesn't have any missionaries from the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. No missionaries from the English-speaking world in one third of the world. 不知道你有没有注意到，我是最近才发现，就是在三分之一世界上的地区，西方世界，美国、英国，而且欧洲和澳大利亚等等，那么西方世界传教士根本去不到世界三分之一地区。No sé si lo sabes, pero un tercio del mundo no tiene misioneros de, de, la, de que hablan inglés. Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." Jesús dijo, "Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature." They are the only means of spreading the gospel in those countries is through the native pastors. In those countries, it is the only way to spread the gospel in those countries. 
Es la única manera de repartir los evangelios es a través de los nativos pastores. At the beginning of World War II, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England, sent a message to President Franklin D. Roosevelt in America, and he said, "Give us the tools, and we'll finish the job." 第二次世界大战开始的时候，云顺丘吉尔曾经发了一个信息，传给这个美国的总统罗斯福，这样祈求到说：“请你们把工具交到我们手中，我们就把这工作完成的。”A principio de, de la guerra del mundial, Churchill mandó una correspondencia al presidente Roosevelt diciéndole: "Mándanos las herramientas y nosotros terminaremos el trabajo." And that's what we're attempting to do with this website. We're sending the printed sermons, word for word. On the internet, to those nations in the Muslim world, the Buddhist world, the Hindu world, where our missionaries cannot go. This is what we are doing with this website. We are trying to do this. 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 Y eso es lo que estamos haciendo. Estamos mandando estos sermones a、eh, escrito palabra por palabra a los lugares musulmanes a, a de otros del mundo que donde los misioneros no pueden ir. We're giving those native pastors the tools, and they will finish the job of spreading the gospel in those parts of the world where our missionaries cannot go. 我们把这些传福音的工具交在那些本地的传教士他们的手中，他们就会完成这样传福音的工作。Nos estamos dando a esos pastores las herramientas para que ellos puedan hacer el trabajo. And we are giving those pastors, those native pastors, the tools, and they will finish the job of going into all the world and spreading the gospel to every creature in that one third of the world where our missionaries cannot go. 我们就是把这个工具交到他们这个本地的那宣道士的手中，让他们去到那个三分之一我们西方传教士去不到的地方，往普天下去把这个福音传给万民听。他们是满当多，而且是里面的是那些什么呢？应该是第二世的穆多，都是那些什么什么什么不能听。And that's where you come in。这就是你在这里可以帮助我们了。I yes don't do you this。I am asking you to help us add more languages and more translators。现在我就是希望你能够帮助我们更加多一些啊，另、呃、另外的一些翻译的工作，而且更更加多一些语言上去。Te estoy pidiendo que nos ayudes para que podamos agregar más idiomas, más、uh, uh, idiomas. People in our own church translate the sermons into Chinese, Japanese, Tagalog, the language of the Philippines, Spanish, and of course I give them in English, and so we are able to do those five languages. But all the rest of the languages, we have to pay a small amount of money to the missionaries and Christian workers that translate all the other languages. 在在我们本教会这些朋友们已经翻译成了中文、西班牙语，而且日文，还有一些 Tagalog， 就是西墨西哥呃那些。但是呢，其他的这语言呢，都是要有其他的，我们要啊啊给他们一些资啊资助，给他们一些报答，让他们来�ang 助我们做翻译。Y nosotros de, en la nuestra iglesia estamos nosotros mismos traduciendo en español, en a, a japonés, en a coreano, de, en a chino a, y va pues claro en inglés. Y a, pero a, tenemos que pagar a los otros que están afuera de la iglesia. Now we have raised a lot of money here for the languages that are already up, but to add more languages, we're going to need your help. 现在我网站上刊载的十几种语言呢，我们要啊、呃、用很多这个资金来赞助，但是要加多更多的语言的话，我们就需要你来帮助了。Estamos a mucho dinero acá para los idiomas que sí tenemos en el sitio anterior, pero para añadir más idiomas necesitamos ayuda. Could you possibly make a monthly pledge to help us add more languages to this website? 你能不能能够保证每个月来啊提拿出一笔这个啊资金来帮助我们，帮助我们把更多的语言加在我们网站上面 ？Podrías mensualmente ayudarnos a con una promesa para ayudarnos a añadir más idiomas? If you can do it, I'm asking you to send fifty dollars a month. If that's not possible, twenty-five dollars a month, and make a monthly pledge to this ministry to help us get these sermons out in those parts of the world. Where none, of, where none of our missionaries can go. 
所以我希望你能够每个月呢能够赞助些五十块钱，如果不可能的话，二十五块钱也可以，二十五块钱能够帮助我们把这个语言，把这各种各样的福音传到这个世界上的三分之一地区，我们这个西方传教士去不到的地方。Por favor, promete para ayudar algo mensualmente para que podamos mandar esto a lugares donde los misioneros no pueden ir. Because the internet goes everywhere. Y ve, bueno, ve, WhatsApp, ¿no? Es que todo es muy complicado. La internet va a todas partes. And those native pastors can print out the sermons from their uh, from their computer or copy them down with a pencil or pen, and often uh, they circulate these sermons and uh, pass them on to others. So would you help us with a monthly gift? So those local pastors can print it out, or copy it out, or print it out, or copy it out, or send it to other people. Can you help us with this work? Frequently, the pastors write the word by word, what they have seen, what they have heard, 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 what they have seen, what they have heard. And if you can do that,、uh, you can send the money with a credit card, or you can send it、uh, by Western Union. And uh, uh, see if you can send it in with American money, if possible. And the sheet will come up in just a moment that tells you、uh, how to send the money by credit card or the post office box where you can mail it. 你要是做奉献，献给我们教会的话，你可以写支票。一会儿呢，屏幕上在底下就可以看到这个啊，寄给我们这个地址。同时，也可以用你的信用卡，或者是 PayPal， 或者 Western Union， 都可以的做奉献给我们教会。请你帮助我们。Un momento da veras la dirección donde se puede enviar el dinero a través de tarjeta de crédito de PayPal o a Western Union. Ah, pero o las mando los dinero dólares. Pero si no, da ah vienen pronto la dirección en la pantalla. So keep watching and that. Information will come up on the screen in just a moment. So, continue to watch. Look at that. Wait a minute. This one, this ah, offering this information, this will be displayed on the screen. Keep watching, and this information will be in a moment on the screen.